Hello YouTube, today we're just doing a, a real quick recipe to make a blueberry or blackberry, any kind of berry cobbler, you can substitute any berries you want. Take, I've got two cups of blueberries in the bottom of a sprayed 9 by 9 corningware dish, you can use a regular pan, that's all up to you. I'm taking two thirds cup of sugar with one tablespoon of cornstarch, a tablespoon of flour, mixing that all together, then we're going to sprinkle it over the top of the blueberries. Uh, by using the flour and the cornstarch, any juice that comes out of the bl the blueberries or blackberries, whatever you're using, is going to be, make the juice stay thick and not go runny. Um, a lot of times a lot of water will come out of these berries. If you don't have a little bit of a thickener in it, uh, then you can end up with a runny mess. And it's hard to know, especially if you're buying frozen blackberries or blueberries. These are actually frozen blueberries. Once you get that all sprinkled over the top of it, uh, take a spoon or a spatula and just kind of mix it up all together like you're trying to coat each one of the blueberries in the powder mixture. Uh, make sure your sugar doesn't get all stuck right in the center of the container, trying to spread out the sugar at the same time so it's evenly distributed. Uh, next we're going to take a cup of flour, teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon, sorry, tablespoon of buttermilk powder, that's optional, half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth cup of sugar. Mix that all together, then we take two tablespoons of butter and cut that into the flour. After you kind of cut it in with the uh, pastry cutter, or you can use a fork to incorporate it in. Then you're going to take your fingers and kind of try to smash the flour into, I'm sorry, the butter into the flour mixture. Once you get that uh, incorporated, we're going to use buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk. And you're going to add just enough to uh, make it form into a, a, a dough that is not real sticky, but not dry either. We, I would call it a wet, stiff dough. Take you an ice cream scoop, spray it with a non-stick spray, and that way the, when you're scooping it out, it won't stick to it. You're just going to scoop it out in little scoops all over the top of the, of the berries. Uh, this is what a true cobbler should look like. A, if you think of a cobblestone street, that's what cobblers were named after. That's the top of it like a cobblestone street. Next I took and filled a half cup measuring cup with water just to dip my fingers into. Filled it about half full so there's about a quarter cup of water in there. And I used it just to pat the dough out and kind of flatten it out a little bit. It won't flatten, flatten it out a whole lot. You're just, uh, where it's stuck to the inside of the scoop, you're just kind of flattening that out a little bit. After you get through doing that, just kind of spread out the remainder of the water in on the berries. You're going to have your oven preheated to 350. Go in an oven, bake it 20, 25 minutes or until the, the dough is golden brown and you're eating cobbler. It's that simple. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you haven't joined our channel, do so, do so below. Click on the notifications bell and you get notifications of our new recipes. This is the Pressure Prepper and I'm out.